at one of San Francisco's most recognizable tourist destinations, San Francisco's postcard row of Victorian houses. This is on Alamo Square Park, and today we're going to go inside one of the postcard row houses and see how they prepare for the holidays. We don't get white Christmases here, but we still prepare for the holidays in a big way. I'm Bonnie Spindler, the Victorian Specialist, and I'm here on Alamo Square in San Francisco. Join me to see how San Francisco gets ready for the holidays. We're in the master bedroom suite of the Postcard Row home, and this is decorated as the Swedish room. Uh, George is Swedish, and so all the decorations in here are classically Swedish decorations. You see a lot of handmade straw and cranberries on the tree, and so um, in little Swedish flags. <laughs> it's really darling. So how did you start having everybody come and help? I, I don't know how many years ago, but a number of years ago, uh, Val Lupiz, who's a grip man on one of the cable cars, and Andra Young invited me to uh, go decorate the cable cars at Christmas. And when my friends heard about it, they were like, how did you get to do that? I know, I've always wanted to do <laughs> yeah, it. <laughs> it's, like, it's really fun. So anyway, after a couple of years, I used to decorate this whole house by myself. And it was like, I'm getting a little old now. And so I just basically uh, figured that just kind of like Mark Twain and painting the picket fence, I could have a party and I put it up and like I had, I had to do a cut list. There were so many people that wanted to decorate a painted lady. So now I have a crew that does it every year and my life's much easier. <laughs> well, and it's so fun. People get to see how you live in one of these historic yeah, homes. We make a party, have, have some food in a few minutes and that's how it is. That, that's awesome. So um, how many years have you owned the house? Uh, Officially owned it, I've owned it for two years almost now, but our family's been here for 20, I think almost 22 years. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. So and, tell uh, me about the history of the house. Who built it? Matthew Cavanaugh, in 1892, he started with his house on the end, the big quarter mansion. The first people moved into this house in March of 1895, and sometime in within the year, they finished down at the end. So this is an entire room filled with San Francisco memorabilia. That's right. Yeah, and so tell me about this picture. This is my dad's dad, and in uh, September 15th, 1929, he swam the Chronicle race and had the wow. record, and all the record is here. Wow, that's incredible. So he swam from the other side all the way to San See, Francisco? See, that's the problem. I'm not sure where the course is, but I have his times are here. But the court, this looks like he maybe is ending in the race at somewhere Fort like Chrissy Field or Fort Point. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like Fort Point. Yeah, so, but I just don't know exactly where it started and ended. That's amazing. Yeah. And, uh, and so you, when you give your tours, you walk th people through all of this you memorabilia. You come all the way up here. And we're on the third floor, so usually you can read. I used to teach high school, so you can read if people are really into it. And usually up here, I kind of am ready to cut it short. And people usually ask about everything up here because it's <laughs> San Francisco amazing. stuff. Yeah, we could probably finish the tour in 45 minutes, but up here, everybody's like, what's this, and what's this, and what's this? Well, thank you so much for um, letting us poke around your house and help you decorate. It's been so fun. Thank you, and come back for the concert, too. Oh, I will. Make sure you say hi to Erickson downstairs. He's the kind of the instigator of the, the concerts, these chamber concerts. And what's wonderful about them is that they're playing music in small settings. Uh, what they were intended to be played in, in such settings. So they're going to do some Bach and a little bit of light Christmas, not like Christmas carols, but like maybe Nutcracker and stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah, it'll be really beautiful. So come on back. Thank you so much for joining us for this special holiday edition of the American Dream. We'll see you again next month. I'm Bonnie Spindler, the Victorian Specialist, here on Postcard Row.